In this presentation, we'll examine the different types of gas pressure regulators. Free poppet regulators do not have a mechanical link between the poppet and the diaphragm. The downward stroke of the diaphragm pushes the poppet down, but upward diaphragm movement does not pull the poppet up to close the regulator. If particles or other contaminants are in the gas stream, they tend to deposit or precipitate from the gas stream onto the cedar poppet due to the large drop in pressure. Such contamination can and does prevent the poppet from sealing against the seat. This leads to an increase in outlet pressure above the set point. A severe seat leak could cause damage to low pressure components downstream, such as gauges and pressure sensors. Worst case, the outlet pressure equals the inlet pressure. The tied diaphragm regulator features a mechanical link between the poppet and diaphragm. The downward stroke of the diaphragm pushes the poppet down and the upward diaphragm movement pulls the poppet up to close the regulator. Again, particles enter the gas stream. Again, the contamination precipitates on the poppet or seat and the regulator cannot fully seal. This causes an increase in outlet pressure, pushing the diaphragm upward, which pulls the poppet upward, increasing the sealing force. This additional force will stop or reduce the amount of pressure increase. Tie diaphragm regulators are the standard for source cylinder applications due to this important safety feature. Two stage regulators are simply two single regulators in series in a common body. Pressure is reduced in two sequential steps instead of one. One benefit of two-stage regulators is reduced supply pressure effect as a change of inlet pressure on the first stage has little effect on the final outlet pressure. In this example, an AP1700 is shown, which simply incorporates two tied diaphragm AP1500s in a single body. Free poppet two-stage regulators are also available. Two-stage regulation can also be implemented using two separate regulators in series. In this example, the inlet pressure is 2,200 psi and the outlet pressure is 30 psi at 15 liters per minute. As the cylinder pressure drops from 2,200 to 200 psi, the outlet pressure remains constant. The first stage has supply pressure effect. The outlet of the first stage rises as the inlet pressure drops, but the changes to the inlet of the second stage is small and causes little change in second stage outlet pressure. One drawback of two-stage regulation is a reduction in flow capacity due to two orifices rather than one. It's also recommended to monitor the outlet pressure of the dual stage regulator's first stage in order to diagnose a seat leak. Most only monitor the inlet and outlet pressures and not the intermediate pressure. Ultra-high purity applications utilize two-stage regulation using two regulators in series, one in the gas cabinet and at least one in the valve manifold box or in the process tool. This provides two-stage regulation and greatly reduces supply pressure effect. Few ultra-high purity applications use a dual-stage regulator as the source. Diborane gas is one example. Go to AP Tech's website for more information, including product note number 409, which describes two-stage regulation for semiconductor manufacturing applications. Absolute pressure regulators are designed to deliver gas at sub-atmospheric outlet pressures. These regulators are used in applications with positive pressure upstream and vacuum pressure downstream. Absolute pressure regulators can be tied diaphragm or free poppet. Some work well at positive outlet pressures and some do not. A key feature of subatmospheric regulators is the bias spring. It can push or pull the diaphragm to allow vacuum to be controlled on the outlet side and enables the diaphragm from being pulled down by vacuum and opening the regulator. In this example, the bias spring is located around the range spring. It is under compression and pulling on the diaphragm to bias the regulator from opening with vacuum. The springless type regulator does not have a poppet spring. All springless regulators are of the tied diaphragm type design. Springless regulators are normally more expensive to manufacture than poppet spring regulators. 
Mini regulators are most commonly one and an eighth inch footprint. The small size and diaphragm limit flow capacity. Their typical application is pressure regulation inside process tools where small size is needed. They are typically more expensive than larger regulators and have less flow capacity and lower inlet pressure rating. Mini regulators are most commonly used in substrate gas systems commonly called IGS or integrated gas systems. The valves, mass flow controllers, and sensors along with gas regulator components are surface mount and tightly spaced. Benefits of this approach are space savings and ease and speed of component replacement. Nearly all substrate gas systems used in semiconductor manufacturing are either W seal or C seal platforms an inch and an eighth or one and a half inch for higher flows. The regulator is upstream of the mass flow controller and will cycle flow or open and close millions of times during the life of the component. There are several types of sensing elements used in gas regulators. The sensing element senses changes in the force balance of the regulator. Diaphragms are inexpensive, generate fewer particles, and have very good durability. Ultra high purity versions have metal to metal seals to atmosphere, but have less stroke compared to other options. Bellows are much more expensive, have more stroke or travel, have metal to metal seals, but have much larger surface area compared to a diaphragm. Pistons have greater stroke, are less expensive, and can handle higher pressures. For example, the APTEC KT10 is used up to pressures of 10,000 PSI. But pistons have dynamic O-ring seals to atmosphere, which generate particles and don't have the leak integrity of metal-to-metal -metal seals. Many non-ultra-high purity regulators are self-relieving or venting. Non-relieving or non-venting regulators don't vent pressure to atmosphere and require flow to adjust to a lower pressure set point. Self-relieving regulators vent pressure above set point to atmosphere, enabling the user to adjust pressure down without flow. It will also vent pressure from and across the seat leak. The relieving valve mechanism is in the sensing element. Ultra high purity regulators are all non relieving to prevent dangerous gases from escaping to atmosphere. High pressure regulators above 4000 psi and many clean dry air regulators are self relieving. Now let's review the key information about regulator types. Free poppet regulators do not have a mechanical linkage between the poppet and the diaphragm. Tied diaphragm regulators do have a linkage and it enables the diaphragm to pull the poppet further into the seat in case of a seat leak. Two-stage regulation reduces pressure in two stages, reducing supply pressure effect. Mini regulators are commonly used in substrate gas systems upstream of the mass flow controller on or near wafer process tools. Non-relieving regulators do not vent to atmosphere. This is required for ultra-high purity applications. The primary sensing elements of gas regulators are diaphragms, bellows, and pistons, each with advantages and disadvantages. For more information about APTEC products and technical resources, please go to aptech-online.com, where you can download product note number 409 and learn more about two-stage regulation in semiconductor manufacturing.